Short circuit is a condition in which the input terminals of a power supply get in electrical contact with each other, causing huge current flow. This leads to very large heat generation, which can damage the system and also pose a threat to people nearby it. Thus short circuit condition is necessary to be detected and be attended immediately. We have demonstrated the short circuit in our circuit board using a wire piece. These are the components which are needed in this project. 1 NPN transistor BC547 1 PNP transistor BC557 1 2.2 kilo ohm resistor 1 10 kilo ohm resistor 3 1 kilo ohm resistor 1 diode 1 N4007 1 red LED 1 green LED 9 volt battery PP3 battery connector on off rocker switch 1 0 PCB 4 screw with nuts and 4 plastic spacers before making the project we will understand its circuit diagram this is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit this is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project when we power up the circuit then due to the values of resistor R1 and R2, transistor BC547 will have 0.9 volt at its base terminal, so it will turn on. When BC547 will turn on, it will provide a low signal to BC557, so BC557 will also turn on. When BC557 will turn on, then it will glow the green LED. At this stage, red LED have a high signal at both of its end. So it will turn off. When we short the output wires, then positive end of green LED will ground. So green LED will turn off. And at the same time negative terminal of red LED will get the ground. So it will glow up. These are the components which we will use to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base. And for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a one inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Now we will solder the diode. Diode has two terminals, positive and negative. Black lines indicates the negative side. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the red LED. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the transistor. There are 3 pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector. 
2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the PNP transistor. Now we will solder the green LED. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will connect the components with each other, according to the circuit diagram. To avoid any damage in the circuit, make sure that there is no wrong connection or shorting between the components. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive, and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery, and test our project. It gives a warning indication, if there is a short circuit in the assembled board. If the circuit board is ok, then green LED indicating that power supply is normal. If there is a short in the PCB tracks, or pins of components, green LED turns off, and red LED indicating the short circuit. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video, and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.erltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.